Hey guys, it's Casual Savage, and today I'm going to be showing you my top five tweaks on the key. What you, what you want? What you, what you want? Okay, so this first one is called I Type Apple Icon, and this is free. This is simple but awesome, and you need to add a source, and it will be in the description. What this allows you to do is type the Apple logo. So how you do this, you hold A, and you swipe across as you can see right there, and the Apple logo is there. Let go, if we go up, there's the Apple logo. And this is very easy to do. If you're trying to do this on a text, uh, Facebook or Twitter, this logo will only be displayed on other iOS devices. And remember, this is called iType Apple Icon, and it is free. And coming in at number 4, it's called Haptic Pro. This is $2.99. And unfortunately, this only works on the iPhone, so I cannot demonstrate it as I'm using the iPod Touch 5th generation. And basically, this what this does is, when you type, uh, say you do that, it gives it a little vibration. Uh, I do actually have the app to show you what happens when you go to settings because you can change various stuff such as the duration of uh, the vibration oh there it is haptic pro so here you go uh, this is how they trigger the vibration either by key pressed after you've released the key or key repeated and trigger controls keyboard buttons table cells web links and then the duration. Uh, you can also test the keyboard in the settings so if you just type anything there it should be vibrating. Also uh, duration of the vibratory is right here. But this is called Haptic Pro, this is $2.99. This is very handy for uh, iPhone users. This will, uh, it's a bit like uh, Android because sometimes when you type on them it vibrates. But anyway, this is called Haptic Pro, and it is $2.99. Okay, coming in at number 3, is called iKey This is $1.99. And basically what it does, it does add a fifth row to your keyboard that you can fully customise. And you have symbols, numbers, even emoji characters such as smiley faces, sad faces, etc. You can even add words to the top row, so if you use a word a lot, you can add that to the top. So, there you can see the symbols, but if you click the number buttons, oh wait, no, if you, uh, yeah, if you click like a bracket, it does take you to the numbers, and then the numbers are there. So if you just click one of them, it does take you to the numbers, which is, uh, pretty good. And coming in at number two is called Swipe Selection, and this is a free tweak. So, let's say you've typed, uh, something in, and you've got it wrong. Now, the usual way to get back is holding the magnifier and letting go where you got it wrong and then click backspace and do whatever but now with swipe selection what you do is just swipe around and the normal way is a bit annoying but with swipe selection you can swipe on the keyboard and it moves the cursor to where you want it to be fixed so as you can see right now it does uh works very smoothly and if I just go back so I want to go back up there and it works very quickly as well so it does not take up too much time so that is number two and that is swipe selection and that is free now coming in at number one I'm sure loads of you are familiar with this it's called color key keyboard and it is one dollar ninety nine and what it does it basically allows you to change the theme on your keyboard and there are tons of theme. As you can see now I have a Windows theme. Uh, it looks very nice and works very smoothly. And it looks very nice again. Uh, you can download more off Cydia. I actually downloaded the one I just had there. But if you head over to settings and uh, we go to uh, the colour keyboard which is right there. You can now see select themes, select pop up key, customize backgrounds, keyboard radius, uh, theme gallery and then just a load of stuff that you don't really need. 
So, wait, once you've downloaded it, you want to make sure that is enabled. Uh, then you have loads of themes, like I said. And all of them look pretty nice. And just to preview them, you just hit the little arrow there. Oh, there we are. <laughs> and there you can see that it's a black and uh, silver one, I guess. I'm just going to take that one off. Okay, and I'll just show you red. That looks pretty nice, I used to have that before. But the one I have got is uh, WP7. This one right here, green and black. Uh, right now I'm going to be showing you how to get the green and Windows one, as it does not come with the coloured keyboard package. So what you want to do is head over to Cydia. You want to click the well. You want to go to search and type in W P seven and hit search. And now you can see you do have loads of options. Well, not really loads, but you do have quite a few options. And now you do actually need a source for this. The sources will be in the description. And here you go. Here you can download. Uh, in US keyboard and the Europe keyboard which is here and there you can see a white one I've downloaded and there is the green and black one so the way you get the green and black one you search WP7 uh, you go to uh, Cydia you have to search it scroll down and you will see WP7 uh, green plus black color but all of the other colours do look really nice, as you can see, grey, grey too. I haven't actually downloaded all of them yet, but they do look very nice. Okay, so this has been Casual Savage. I hope this video has helped you. I hope you have uh, got some new stuff. And by the way, if you uh, noticed, most of these, only two of these uh, keyboard tweaks I showed you were free. And uh, I have made a video on how to get all of the paid ones for free as well there'll be a link on the screen right now up there make sure you check that out and you can get all these themes for free and you can get basically get anything on Cydia for free so check that video out so this has been casual savage please subscribe rate and what you what you want what you what you want